Yeah, so I've got this 8 amp battery charger. We did some work on this before when uh, we found that it had no filtering components in it. So we did some modifications to add the components they'd left out at the factory. There was places for them on the board. Have a look at the other video if you want to see what we did. But I've had quite a lot of shout outs from people in the comments asking about components that have obliterated themselves in this and they can't identify what they are. So the latest one today was from someone called Elvis. And he said that the main power FET had left the building. It exploded and you couldn't tell what it was. It had gone up in smoke. Magic smoke had been released and couldn't tell what the component was. So this is for Elvis and anyone else who wants to know what's inside this thing so that they can repair it themselves. That's the actual device there. This one. So you can have a look. It comes in various uh, colours and a few part numbers but as far as we can tell the insides are all identical so that's that so I'll zoom back out again and then let's just take this apart and uh, we'll get on with it <clears throat> bit of brute force on my battery charger I've taken the screws out had a route round inside so I've wasted my own time trying to do this <coughs> for, for Elvis Right, so, as you recall from the previous video, which you should watch if you want to uh, do the modifications, we added a few components like this varistor here, which was missing, type Y capacitor, which connects the zero volts AC with the zero volts low voltage side. It's just a noise filtering capacitor, high voltage fail safe capacitor. We put in this common mode rejection choke and we're in the capacitor underneath but that's a different video this video is about Elvis's and other people's ones that destroyed themselves so he's got a completely obliterated FET and if you are repairing the FET has you know, say your FET has gone bang or puff then it's no good just changing the FET as I've said before something else the high voltage from the uh, high voltage from the drain would would have got into the gate circuit and gone back and blown up the uh, power supply management chip this little uh, six pin SOT 23 device down there that one Oop. focus you focusing thing there it is so this one down here is one we're talking about and of course if you're checking you know Elvis especially if you want to change these components then check all these resistors and the diode and everything else because other components on the back of here will have blown and if you just change the FET switch it on it'll go bang again more than likely and won't work so you need to change all the active parts in the power supply section and check this diode here as well so yeah so let's have a look in the macro station and we'll see if we can identify what these are but that's the general it's quite nicely made actually it's clean isn't it it's not like a CTEC with all that crap on the back I'd say the manufacturing quality is good, but um, probably the design is wanting. You know, it's a 120, what, well, 8 times 12, 96, 100 watt power supply. That's quite a lot of wattage for a single ended power supply. You normally would go for a half bridge in that situation, but there is a fan built into this thing to keep it cool. So you have got some active cooling on this one. So that's a positive thing. I don't know whether Elvis has got this component, this uh, varistor, which um, protects it from mains uh, voltage surges. So that could have been what blew his FET up, right? So let's switch to the macro station and then we'll have a quick look and see what they are. See if we can identify them. Strong magnification that it's difficult to position it sometimes. But when you get her into focus, come on, focus you focusing thing, come on. There we are, look, see, tiny. So we want to be looking about here somewhere. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves while I locate where we are. Let's put my finger in there. That's right, let's put the end of my tweezers in view. There's the tweezers, so I'll just line that up with that. And there you can see it. So that's the... In the center of the picture now we've got the eight 
8.04K40630P 6 pin SOT23-6 six, 6 legs power supply management chip now I've had a look for this and it's one of these really obscure obscure Chinese parts um, it could even be a custom part number let's face it they make these in such numbers they say well make me a load of those and stick a custom number on it so no one can copy it but it's only got six legs and it's going to be the supply voltage uh, naught volts the feedback pin and the drive to the FET so it shouldn't be too difficult to work this out and it's not rocket science so most chips will do you might need to change a few values but before we do get into that and the reverse engineering this to work out what to put in its place if you know what this is leave us a, a note in the um, in the comments 840k4630p I really haven't seen any SOT23 type package with two rows of characters on. They're absolutely tiny. If I put my finger there, you'll see how tiny that is. Oh. It's a tiny weenie component. And when you're repairing this, you're going to have to look at all the other passive components all around and check this diode here as well, diode 6. And you have to check uh, R1, any of the resistors. And if you inspect them, you can probably see if they're blown. You know, there'll be cracks or scorch marks or skid marks on them so do you know what this is let us know and then we can get some of these repaired because i have got a lot of questions asking what this is from people on the channel from the channel shall i say so that's the um, pwm management chip we want one of those um, we don't want to really go through reverse engineering it so if you know what that is give us a clue we'll look on the computer in a minute and i'll show you how i've tried to be hunt it down briefly but I haven't been successful and I really haven't got that much time to look for it to be honest but somebody will know and, and uh, I put a shout out for the um, CTEC MXS10 battery charger for a, a chip and I got loads of answers telling me what they were so we have high hopes don't give up on the YouTube viewers is the moral of that story now this is the FET this is Elvis's FET is in, bit, in pieces let's take that doggy hair off there and you can see it is a 8N65 trench stop um, FET N channel 600 volt or something like that and it's a Kevink whoever they are never heard of them and perhaps Kevink make the other chip as well we might want to check that so if we just go over to the computer now and have a look to see what we can find we might have some more success so in here if we put in uh, 8N65 this is the Mouser website it's a pretty good repository they cover a, or carry a much bigger range than Farnell or RS there we go MOSFET so there's 59 MOSFETs with uh, that part number and they'll all be different variants with different numbers of pins and things on they're all end channel, single channel one we want, we don't want that one. We want that one. There's an ST one there, look, that's a, probably a good bet. There won't be much difference. You'll see all these different part numbers, but they're to do with the temperature range and some something to do with the uh, capacitance and so on of the gate. But if we do reverse engineer with this, we'll have to uh, we'll have to look at that in more detail when we get to that point actually. So you can see here it is, it's just an ordinary three pin MOSFET. All right, I think they probably all got the same leads. It's a 710 volt device. And there it is. So that's the MOSFET. Elvis, that's your MOSFET if you want to get one to put in. I wouldn't put it in unless you change the chip on the back. Now, if we go to, um, where should we go? I've looked all over. I've looked all the ident searches and we just go to aliexpress.com. Winter skirt, what's that? Anyway, um, so we put it in there, SOT-23-6 PWM. And you can see all these obscure Chinese PWM chips. And sometimes you can find them in there. Let's try taking that gap out, see if we get any more come up. There you go, that's better. Got more look. And here they all are. And you can zoom in on them and have a look. 
he says. There you go. You can zoom in and have a look. And you can see they've all got one row of characters on. And there's no doubt one of these would actually work, would actually do what you want it to do. But I can't find the exact one and I can't find it on the internet. So we could be looking for a long time. And by the time we've been looked around for a week, <laughs> um, it might be better just to, to, uh, just to reverse engineer it and fit a different chip. Just find one with the right pins. Once we know what the pins are, we can then uh, work out how to fit a different one in the in the unit. Look at that. That's got two rows of characters on. Three three seven A. Who's this, who's that made by? It's interesting, isn't it? So this lot might be uh, a likely uh, likely source. Who are they? IC Supermarket Store. I wonder if you emailed them, they'd know what it was if we sent them a picture. Shall I do that? I'm going to send a picture of this chip to this to this crowd and see. It's got an 837A. That looks very similar, doesn't it? It could be from this lot. Um, high precision CC Prime and PM stock, new and original. Who's the manufacturer? Yeah, I'm going to contact these guys and send them a picture. But if you do know what this chip is, then. Uh, leave us a comment and let us know and then we can get some of these fixed. So I think there's a lot going wrong because lots of people have contacted me about them. So I'm going to search around for this for a bit and if I can find one I'll, uh, I'll do an update. But that to me looks like it's exactly the same manufacturer and yeah they would know. I think that's the same manufacturer of the chip but it doesn't actually tell you who the manufacturer is. So um, without boring you too much, I'm just going to carry on looking. And if I find anything, I'll put something up on the on the web. But I hope you like that, and get in touch if you uh, if you know what that is. What that is.